Hello there and welcome to GCSE Physics Energy Dissipation. So uh, let's just go through what dissipation actually means. So energy can be described as being in different stores. So for example, it cannot be created, it can't be destroyed, but energy can be transferred and dissipated or stored in slightly different ways. So for example, um, no system is perfect. And whenever there is a change in a system, energy is transferred and some of that energy is dissipated. Dissipation is a term that's often used to describe ways in which energy is actually wasted. Any energy that is not transferred to useful energy stores is said to be wasted because it is lost to the surroundings. Electrical cables, uh, warming up are a good example of this. Um, so it's not useful to have hot wires behind a TV set as energy is dissipated to the surrounding air. So for example, in a mechanical system, energy is dissipated when two surfaces rub together. So work is done against friction, which causes heating of the two surfaces. So that internal energy of the surface increases and adding maybe a lubricant or a cream between the surfaces reduces this particular friction. And so is less heat is actually wasted. Like say, for example, on a conveyor belt in an airport, or maybe even uh, going up some electrical stairs. So energy is usually lost by heating up the surroundings, though sometimes energy is dissipated as sound waves as well. So um, dissipation, whenever energy is transferred for a purpose in any system, some of that energy is transferred useful, usefully. The energy that is not useful and is lost and is spread out is called dissipation, energy dissipation. Okay, so this is the main thing that you need to know about this particular chapter. But do have a read of the information and the text in detail, and you've got some questions thereafter to answer as well. And we'll go into much more detail in our next follow-up lesson. Good luck.